Good evening. This is Cheryl with Sea Spirit Tarot. It's Saturday evening, the 26th. 26. I did a video this morning, and I don't know if my my uh, camera was full or whatever, but it it stopped like three quarters of the way through. But I had it it on the wrong day anyway. Well, see, I mean, what does that mean? So, Scorpio full moon, new moon tomorrow. The god tomorrow, yeah. And I was thinking it was today, but we're within the orb. And, and that's what we're going to look deep in us, into ourselves on many levels. This is the goddess that was chosen. You've got the seven, seven stars above her. Highway to heaven, once you learn the frequency, the lessons that the stars and the plants are here to teach you, to guide you. So, Nyoron, gracious lady of the mist, goddess of prophetic wisdom, Found in dreams and the dream itself. Beautiful, isn't she? Another being of violet fire, the purity God desires, and beautiful purple and red dress. Hello, headband. Anyway, thank you, Nairon, for coming to look over our reading. I edged my first cards, my first deck of cards today. You know, when I read Tarot before, there was not even computers. It was not smartphones. It was, if you were on the right mailing list, you could get the right catalogs. I drive 75 miles to the bookstore. I drive 7,500 miles to a spirit fair to even get these things. Though I was blessed later, I worked at a metaphysical bookstore for a couple years. Uh, the, this card that came up, the king, authority and diplomacy. We are all sovereign beings. Um, I can look at this king as knowledge. I can look at this king as holding the Anka life. And we're, we're all in this life. It must be much knowledge to study. That's an asset of the king that we would wish. And diplomacy, that might be aimed directly at me because... Uh, at my age right now, I mean, I'm 68, and it's like, whatever. And then I withdraw home into my own little kingdom, kingdom of, of safety. Such a strange world out there, I tell you right now. So much discord and sadness over all this kingship patriarchy. The other one is the moon. Very feminine card, so I guess that's good we have a pair. You will be guided through the darkness. I think that's Thoth and Anubis below. That is, I don't know why they always put a waning moon on the cards. I would always put a new moon, but I don't know. I'm either way advanced or not advanced. Beautiful colors. So that's about a pair, a, a male, a Feminine and a masculine energy cards together to bring in some balance. To bring in some balance. The balance to the king, balance to us. In my reading, I chose the stack with the tower on it. Because my reading towered out this morning. And because I went on this long rant about uh, society being so divided and, and it's going to blow. And, and what can we do to lessen the blow? Even though each of us within us is having a tower moment, more and more each time, more triggers, more blockages coming up in us. And, and is the tower, is that the divine coming down and removing what's not needed? A fall from grace, artificial grace, fake grace. You thought you had everything you needed and you were safe? Or is that your kundalini rising coming out the top of your head to connect with the heavens and the old bodies and the old uh, this is who I am's are falling away? I don't know. It's a thought, huh? <clears throat> Second part of the question is the three of swords. 
Three is a union starting to make manifestation. Swords are conversations. So swords are strategy. Swords are action. This is from the old, and now I forgot, the Mori. Well, back in Victorian times, they made jewelry. And then they put within the jewelry after death, what, um, some remembrance about them. Now the kids wear... The kids, well, the young adults that have lost a child wear ashes around their neck in a container, not a locket. So this is old timey. This is this is heart. It's been much wounded heart, much wounded heart personally for me, much wounded heart in in looking out at humanity and the the anger and discordance out there. But the swords are pointing up. Curious, the Tower and the Three of Swords, one major arcana and a three flying apart. I'm going to call that one a flying apart. Why are we asking these questions? Because we like it when everything's stable, like the King of Pentacles. He's got the knowledge, he's got the land, he's got the health. He has his act totally together. Parts of ourselves, parts of myself that I see in him is... Um, well, I guess not rest of the organization, but these are your earthly, earthly treasures and pleasures. Dependable. And the best possible short term goal on this. Still an uphill battle, isn't it? The nine of wands. Though all this this action is not completed, it is close to hitting close to hitting the breaking point. This man does not look happy. He does not look like a service for others person. He definitely looks like strictly service, service to self. So it's interesting because this is my second time I'm doing this read today because the first time was definitely a tower moment. <laughs> the three of swords and now I have this grumpy old man here. To sit under the King of Pentacles. The assets I'm bringing into this, this day, this day of Scorpio, this is a page of wands. I still have energy. We still have energy. Our sun, soul, source, who we were, who we were came here to be, to shine. Knowing the word, having the word, and becoming that. Page of Swords. Continuing to be a student of my son, S-U-N. And the best possible outcome, which is great. I believe this is a cancer card. The chariot, fast movement, fast movement, balance. Balance of your Merkaba. So you plug into the rest of the frequencies in this universe. These are the hows. This is the why. How we're going to do it. I'll just do that in a minute. Okay, the, the way we're looking at our question from the outside is the Knight of Swords. A pretty serious looking dude himself there, isn't he? So we'll put that with the question. Pull it all apart for a minute. We have the tower coming down. We have the Three of Swords rebuilding from our sorrows who we thought we were coming up with a new strategy, which is absolutely gorgeous. And we have the King of Swords overlooking this with more strategy, cutting away what is not going to be needed, but bringing in knowledge and intuition that we are going to use. And the Three of Swords is riding in to help. And we need his diplomacy as set up here in this king card. The timing card, the wild card, justice, Libra, another major arcana. You're not going to get to the top of the tree of life without the sword of truth. The sword of truth and integrity to me is the most important thing there is in this life to present. And we should be presenting this to all these people 
that are not they are that are not what service for others. I'm not saying serve everybody, but I'm saying, you know, I'm no hippie. The, the corporations, the corporations, and the that group that has changed the magic to the satanic principles are trying to do us in. It's the sort of truth that is is coming through. And that's going to oversee right there our reading, and that is just gorgeous. Okay, now here we go. Why are we doing this? We're doing this because we have the knowledge. We're going to assimilate more knowledge. We're going to take care of the earth. We're going to balance ourselves. We are going to be the king of our kingdom. We are not going to be who, where, what everyone says we should be. Like, which I did for many years. The, the short-term goal of this, I see much resistance. Much resistance. It's okay, I'm reading Tarot. Most people don't even know what it is. And then there's the ones that think I'm the devil. But it's actually, it actually predates, <laughs> predates all these judgments. I mean, the, uh, I have hermetic Christian cards, okay? You know, here we have Egyptian. It's it's beautiful. And uh, big picture, expect it from that, is a five of wands. And I always explain this in this card because the bobbies back there are holding their wands, their clubs. Uh, these two guys that are going to fight aren't fighting, that neither one is touching the other one. And the man in the middle is holding holding his sword, his rod upright, and his left hand open to the heavens. Is it his left hand? I thought it was his left hand. It might be. Yes. His left hand open to the heavens. So that's a lot of fire energy coming in here. To scorch on the earth. Many changes. Maybe things... Things that need to do, need doing or right, getting done. But this is back to my original rant this morning about the division, especially in our nation, and what we can do to become, because only by changing ourselves to a higher frequency can we heal this. You must, you can't become so sovereign until you know who we, you are, and you can't become united until everybody is so is sovereign and is whole. So whatever we're doing today or this evening or these timeless readings, right? Assets we have is a page of wands willing to learn, willing to study my son's whole source. I'm a student. Everybody's a student. You can tell a lot about people by, well, it used to be why when you go in their home, what books they read, um, can't so much anymore because everybody's got it on digital, right? On the tablet with, or the big screen TV. Learning is the asset I have. Best possible outcome, the chariot. I hope that means fast movement. I hope that, hope that means that everybody is going to balance themselves and their own Merkaba, which this is, in a timely, quickly timely manner. Because the time is now and time is short and we really don't have a whole lot more time. Timelines have been set. Karma was released and less than six months there's going to be another dump. Timelines are about set. So you better get in position. And the best expected outcome and what to look for, God bless, is the Knight of Cups. The one of contentment and peace and to know the holy, the holy of the holies, and fill your, va your veil. <laughs> fill your chalice, the search for the chalice. Why am I here? Man's lifelong search. You're here to balance your macabre. And when you have that macabre balanced, you have even more knowledge into your cup. But it's your son's soul source that sends you on that journey. And it's your desire for knowledge 
contentment and where you are on earth that leads other people to maybe be not so happy with you and your choices or maybe a battle within yourself, what's going on, but changes. Changes are coming in that fiery passion and energy. Peace to prevail. Love and peace to prevail. That's my, my call for the day. Bottom of the deck is the Empress, another major arcana card. Venus, grounded, earth, luxury, land, contentment. The magician has the tools. The high priestess has the secret knowledge, some of which is needed for the tools. But the, the empress uses the tools the magician has, the knowledge of the high priestess, and brings it into worldly fertility. So we all are growing. We all are changing. We had one... Oh, two, the tower. We have the tower, the chariot, cancer, love, mother, and the moon. What's the tower? Can't remember what the tower is. Saturn? I don't know. Don't even listen to that. And the Empress, which is Earth. Three major arcana cards give us the nudge that if we stay on our path, that the outcome is the uh, Knight of Cups. It's been a hard day. It's a hard day to do a reading. Everything seems befuzzled. We need to get our Merkabahs and I can't believe I forgot what the tower represents. But that's what it is. Like I said, I've been I've been uh, avoiding my game here for quite a while. And spirit says I'm going to do it. And so here I am making YouTube's. Here's a star card: Universal Mind, Collective Consciousness. Kadang kadang. My thoughts come directly from the universal mind. I am guided at all times towards new concepts for growing on earth. And that is my daily universal reading for today. May justice prevail. Truth and integrity, that's what you're looking for. May we all become fertility of the empress and spread peace and love. Be the change that you want to see. Become that person. Help us all evolve and elevate this earth. Love and light and many blessings to all.